OK, so let's continue our uh, second type of those spatial analysis. So uh, we can select those attributes. Uh, we can select features from the features. We can also combine multiple features together. So to combine multiple spatial or vector data together, uh, we can use append, we can use merge, or we can use union. OK, so there are three ways we can do that. However, they are slightly different. And to be honest, in most cases, I, uh, if, I'm, if I'm, I'm not going to teach this class, I will not know the difference. Um, uh, so the best way that to know the difference is just try it. And also when you have errors and you will remember, OK, so that is not the, the right one. And you can try it with another. Um, so there are literally hundreds of spatial analysis analysis tools available so you cannot remember all of them and also I don't remember all of them so I think we are going to just introduce a few of them that are, that are used um, very frequently and also when you are going to do your project so you have to search online and also ArcGIS Pro and also the other website have very great detailed explanations that for those analysis. OK, so you can just Google that what analysis you're going to use. OK, so here let's say for append, append can combine multiple data into an existing target a data set. So for example, uh, you have feature one and also feature two. So one will be the input and one will be the target. So append will add input to this target. OK. And so that input will join to this target. OK, the input will join to this target. And also, it requires that the attribute should match. OK, so input and also target should have the similar structure. And also, you should have the similar um, attribute table. Because in, on the attribute table, the structure, should, the structure should be similar. And also, the, the data type should be similar. Otherwise, you will have a lot of errors. Merge is, is pretty simple. So merge just combine two multiple or more than one output into a single new data set. So merge will be like, so if you have input one and if you have input two, OK, it doesn't matter that is that polygon poly, uh, lines or the points. So if you just merge that together, and you will have a new output. OK, so a new output that will contain those both input. OK, so that is for the merge. OK, so that's for the merge. So merge does not require the attribute match. And also, it will generate a new output. Union will also combine both together. However, uh, union that all the input features must has a polygon um, feature. OK, so that the polygons, so the input must be polygons. So that is input one and also input two. So they should be polygons. And when they union together, so OK, so uh, the output feature will be a new polygon. OK, so this is based on what I have checked from the ArcGIS Pro uh, document. Uh, so it might be slightly different in the current version of ArcGIS Pro. So they may not require uh, polygons anymore. But based on what I have learned from ArcGIS uh, document, union requires the polygon geometry. OK, so let's see one example in our uh, data. So after the previous lecture, we have the Virginia and also Maryland that being selected separately. So if we look at attribute table, uh, we can see that both state has uh, the same attribute table, uh, same structure. I would say that they have the same structure, uh, Maryland, also Virginia. So if I want to combine those two features together, OK, if I want to combine those two features together as a single one, um, polygon. So I can go to here. I can use either union or I can use merge or I can also use append. Okay. So 
what any of those three union merge append will work okay because it uh, satisfies all the requirement for any of those three um, analysis so you can try any of those so here i'm going to try union Okay, so input feature. So the first one, let, let me choose Maryland. And for the second one, let me choose Virginia. Okay, and the rank. So let's just leave everything as a blank. Uh, so for the output, I would, to be more clear, I want to say, okay, so this will be Maryland, also Virginia, Union. And I want all the attributes to join. Okay. And if you just put your mouse on this uh, question mark, so you can see that they have a very nice illustration that what does union mean? Okay. And let's try to run it. Okay, so now it is success. So let's uncheck Virginia and also Maryland. So now we can see we have now a new feature that is called Maryland Virginia Union and that contains both states. Okay on this one uh, ship file okay both state on this one ship file and if we open the attribute table okay and we can see that we have this very very long attribute table okay that the second one the first one contains maryland and also the second one contains virginia okay because they, they treat uh, the attribute as separate ones. Okay, so that is the result for union. So let, here let's see how the merge will look like. So here let's say we try merge. And the input will be uh, Maryland and also Virginia. Okay. And the result will be that Maryland and also Virginia merge. Okay. And now we can see that for the output, for the fields, so we can merge all the, uh, we can also uh, combine all the fields. So because they have similar structure, so that we can see that for both Virginia and also Maryland, we will keep the same name for each single field. And now let's run it. Okay, so now we can see for the merge, uh, the, the output look like exactly same as union. Uh, however, if we open the attribute table, and we can see that we are able to append uh, the attribute one after each other, okay? because they, they share the similar uh, structure. So if we go to see the attribute table of the union, we can see that it kind of the expand. Uh, so they kind of put the table to be more wider, but just by adding more columns for both features. Uh, but if we look at merge, so we're just adding more records because they have the similar structure. So that's the difference between merge and also uh, union and I believe if you run the append you will have the same result as merge however so you have to say choose the target is a Maryland as a target or Virginia as a target okay so that's the difference between append merge and also union so depending on your scenarios depending on the, your need you can choose uh, those different spatial analyses so next next let's introduce something a little bit more about the um, they call it overlay analysis so those analysis are normally used uh, between two feature classes so we can have union we can have intersect and we can have identify or we can have symmetrical difference so union intersect identify and also symmetrical difference so union we just mentioned that so we just combine two features together that has all the joined um, result for, from both uh, all the inputs. So it's more like in SQL, it's more like a full join. Okay, so all the put that has will be joined together. Intersect is like the, an inner join in SQL, so that 
if we intersect one feature with another feature, only the overlapped part, okay, so only the overlapped part will be capped. Okay, so that is very useful in some cases. So only the overlapped part will be capped. Identify. Identify is more like the left join. Okay, so that uh, the intersection of the input feature and also identify feature will be capped. So for example here, the input feature will be this box. And we are going to identify this circle. Okay, only the inter intercept part and also the input feature will be capped. So that is identified. So it's more like the left draw. And symmetrical difference is kind of the opposite of the intersect. So that if you calculate a symmetric difference, those non-overlapped part will be capped into this output. So here you can see here we have the, uh, the two parts. OK, the input part, we have those two parts, the, the, uh, the green one and also the yellow ones. And the output will be that uh, those non-overlapped area, OK, those non-overlapped area will be written into the result. So the overlapped will be this one. OK, so those are the overlapped part and the result will be the non-overlapped part. OK, so let's see one example in our analysis. So let's say that we keep the merge okay, for the two states. We, let's say we keep the merge for the two states, the merged of Virginia and also the Maryland. Let's remove everything else. And let's bring uh, the buffer that we created from the previous lecture. Okay, so let's bring the buffer that we created from the previous lecture. Okay, so here we can see we do have several buffers that intersect with Virginia and also uh, Maryland area. Okay, so we do have some part that are intersecting with Maryland and also Virginia, especially in the northern Virginia. OK, uh, so so those buffers are also uh, buffers that for other gun violence. And now we have also Virginia and also Maryland, those two states. So now here we can see the overlay analysis. We have the intersect. OK, and if if you want to try the other like union um, intersect, identify uh, you can also try that one into this uh, from this uh, toolbox. Okay, so here let's say we want to, tr let's just try one thing. Let's just try intersect. Okay. We want to choose for the intersect, we want to choose a buffer. Okay, and also the, the merge state. Okay, so in this case, that the buffers and also state that int overlapping with each other will be selected, okay? And we won't keep all the attributes. So let's see the output, let's see the buffer, master team, uh, let's say we want to use buffer, intersect, VA, Maryland. Okay, buffer intersect V and also Maryland. And let's write. Okay, so now we have those intersect part. So let's uh, uncheck the buffer and also the Virginia. So now you can see that now we have those intersect parts that is uh, that belong to the buffer and also belong to the Virginia and also V merge. So if we open the attribute table, and we will see the result from both uh, layers. So here we can see we have the, uh, the state count incident and also number of people being killed and injured. So those are from the buffers. And if we go towards the right, 
We also know the population for each single state. So that is from the uh, the merged uh, state population. So if you highlight, OK, you can see each single um, feature will have its own record. OK, so for this tiny part. OK, so they intersect with the state. OK, so this part. OK, so that is the intersect. Uh, you can also try use identify and also symmetrical difference. So you can just try those analysis by searching those tools in the toolbox and see that how that look like.